Okay, let's do a gas law problem now. So this one says, um, a sample of hydrogen gas in a closed container has a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 2.00 atm. What will the pressure be if the sample is heated to 127 degrees Celsius? Okay, so this is effectively Gay-Lussac's law. So it's one of the um, laws that you can get from using the ideal gas law. So remember, in this case, since we've got a change, we're going to do PV equals NRT over PV equals NRT, right? So, okay, R never changes. Okay, so look here. Did P change? Did P change? Yes. Did P change, guys? Yes. It, yes. Okay. So can we cancel it out? No. no. Okay. Did P change? No. 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 Can we cancel it out? Yes. Yes. Okay. Did N change? No. Can we cancel it? No. Did T change? Yes. Can we cancel it? No. No. So our new equation is. P1 over P2 equals T1 over T2. Okay. So what are we looking for? P2. So let's rearrange this equation. So P1 T2 equals P2 T1. Okay. So P2 equals P1 T2 divided by T1. Okay. The other thing, these temperatures are in degrees Celsius, so we've got to do what? Convert them to Kelvin. Good job, guys. So 273 plus 37 is going to be 310. And 273 plus 127, so that's 300, 400 Kelvin. Okay? So, P2. So, P1 is 2.00. ATM, T1, 310 Kelvin, divided by, oh, sorry, this was T2. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So T2, 400 Kelvin, divided by T1, 310. ATMs is the unit. Why? Because Kelvins cancel with Kelvins. Any questions on that? No. So this is uh, a loose X law problem.